Hey, this is Jeremy from the Acoustic Shop doing my first live. It's the last day of the show, so I saved it for the best for last coming to D'Addario. And I'm here with Michael, and yeah. we've got some new accessories. That's what we like doing about the live, is showing the new stuff we're going to be bringing back. Obviously, we had, we talked about the uh, XT, uh, X, XT strings, which we've had in the shop since the winter NAM, or summer NAM. But now we got some new products, including this new accessory tray. That's it. And I, tell us about I this. did find out that it just won Best in Show, too, for well, one of the awards at, at NAM. You're learning that here, Best in Show. Yeah, at it's NAM. the first time I said it. Um, so here we go. This is the mic stand accessory system. Um, it's perfect for any like singer, songwriter, performers. It's great in the studio. Um, and it's completely modular. So you do exactly, you know, you configure it the exact way that you want it. It's not, you know, if you want a cup holder, you do that. If you want the whole kit, you do that. So let me just walk you through it. This is the uh, accessory tray. So a nice matte surface so you know things won't slide around. Uh, it'll st everything will stay put. You put your capo there if you want to put your keys, your cell phone, whatever you got. Uh, it comes with an assortment of hooks. So these two here are a little bit more uh, of generic hooks. Uh, if you want to put a towel there or something. This one is a slide hook, which is perfect because you're where, you know, where do you put a slide while you're playing on top of your amp, then it rolls off and you gotta go find it. So this stays put right there. Then you have a longer size hook, which is going to be for uh, if, you if you're doing a studio session, you want to put your headphones down, you put it right there. Um, if, you could, if you have a tambourine, you can put that there. Uh, it also has a spot right here, this little hole, which is for uh, a, quarter inch, a quarter inch plug. So if you're in between sets and you don't want to just leave your plug just sitting on the floor, you can cool. put it right there. Uh, and then we also have the cup holder. The most important here. thing, you can put your soda yeah, in your there. water. water. <laughs> Well, you could put, and the cool thing about it, since it's modular, you can actually put another one right there if you wanted to. So you have your water and your uh, tasty beverage right there, <laughs> and uh, and then a tip jar. And like I said, it's it's pretty easy to configure. It just clips right off. You put it right there, and even the hooks. So are, it has a universal attachment on the stand to get you started. Then yep. you can pick the pieces that you want the most. I think we're going to be starting out with the full kit. Yeah, we have the, the full, full kit. kit. We have the full kit here, and then we have uh, we have it broken out as well, so you can build however you'd like. Excellent. Then we also have the, the new lock knob uh, attachments. Yes. We are an acoustic shop, so we, we focus more on acoustic instruments. But you guys know the chapels. We, we like to plug our, our uh, acoustic instruments in, get the best tone out of them, get some volume control on them. And something that we always run across is you set your best tone, which is really important for acoustic instruments. Spend a lot of time trying to tweak it, get the best tone possible. You put it in your gig bag. And then you get to the show and every knob is turned to a different place. Yeah. So this solves that problem. This is good for pedal boards or amps. And as you can see, like a, a stock knob is really easy to turn. But when you go to these, not so much. So that, it has like a little rivet system. It's, it's, it's like two pieces and they just interlock together. So if you want to just do a couple of clicks to your tone, you could do that. Or you could lift up and turn. It's spring loaded so it snaps right back in. So okay. This will really help to protect the tone that you've spent so much time exactly. uh, dialing in, and now you've locked it into place. Yep. Uh, they also got the button. Yeah, so this one's the Tor cap. So this is for something uh, that you never want touched. So it's available in a foot switch model, which is right here. And then we also have uh, another model here. This would go right on the pot of an amp, of a knob on the amp. So if it's a tone that you never touch, a frequency you never touch, you just put, pop it into place, and then you screw it right over the pot, and that'll never get touched until you take it off and The cool thing is they really install easily. Uh, most of all your pedals have just this little thread that goes on each of the buttons and knobs, yeah. and then these just screw on top of that. So yeah, not, it's super you don't easy. You have to take your pedal apart to get it to fit on there. Yeah, it's super easy to assemble. Uh, it's available in different sizes, uh, different colors, so you can you know match up to the aesthetic of the, of the, instrument, uh, the amp you're putting it on or the pedal. That's I think it's going to be very handy. Yeah. Another thing in that uh, vein, talking about plugging your instrument in, we have some cables and accessories, but we we like to follow all the newest trends. And one of the new trends is an old trend, and that's the uh, the old coiled cables. So now you're getting a 30 foot cable that yep. only takes up what maybe 10. It's, foot it's about less. 10 feet of space, it's, but you're getting 30 feet of cable, so you're getting that that you know that nice uh, tone out of a coil cable. And, and it's really you. springy. Very it's springy. Got, <laughs> Uh, it's available in black, white, and red and blue. And then we also have gotten some, we've had these in before, yep. but we've got some new colors for us in the uh, the braided cable. Yeah. So we're going to be bringing some of those into the shop as well. Yep, that's in a variety of lengths and colors as well. We have, uh, we have a black, a gray, the red and blue, and we also have a camo one as well. And then lastly, that brings us to some patch cables for your pedal board. Yep. You've now dialed in all your knobs. You've got your springy cable. Now you need to connect all your different 
tone pedals together, and we've got the short and long four, four and six inch yep. flat cables. And obviously the purpose, you know, just to save as much space as you can. So that'll be all you got in between the, uh, in between two pedals. So saving real estate is available in the matching where the plugs are facing each other and the offset like this. So that's just how, you know, to, yeah, sometimes to, you have to fill the, any, the plug on the top right, and any, the any, side any the type one. of uh, input output situations you come across. Excellent. Yeah. And another big thing you guys announced here at the NAM show is the new backpack. Yeah. Now you're going to your gig, you want to carry all this gear, but you only have your two hands. You got a guitar in one hand, an amp in another hand. Everything else is going to fit into this bag right here. We've got a couple of these coming to the shop. We were figuring even for our own camera equipment, which we bring to the show, this will be an excellent choice for us. Yeah, uh, definitely. They, they show on the front here how much you get in this gig bag. Mm -hmm. Why don't you walk us through this? Sure. So we did a, a little focus group with guitar players to figure out how you were bringing your gear to gigs, you know, uh, all of your accessories. and, and the biggest eye-opening thing that we came across was cables. Everyone throws their cable in a duffel bag or, or a, a regular backpack and you get to the gig and everything's all over the place, tangled, it's a mess, unorganized. So the first thing we did was made a, a cable filing system. That's where it all started. And uh, this is completely modular, so you can take these dividers out or move them accordingly if you have a thicker cable uh, that you need to occupy more space. But you could, you know, it's super organized. So you put your XLRs here, you put your instrument cables here, your power cables here, and your speaker cable, whatever. Your spare cables for what you're going to do. Yeah, This is all uh, water resistant, too, so it keeps everything dry. Good spot for uh, small accessories, extra strings, things. Back here. So many pockets on yep. this thing. Microphone storage, so you can put three, you know, SM58 style uh, microphones, or you can put a longer, uh, like, uh, wireless microphone there. Then up top, got a little shelf here. You can, you know, put some loose pedals that you might have. This comes up, and then you have a divider system there. And that goes all that way down, and you can put, you know, your DI boxes or power strips or anything like that. Pockets, pockets, and more pockets. Oh, we're not even done. We're, not, we're halfway through right here. On the side here, we got some uh, straps where you could strap in a, a mic stand or a guitar stand. That's on both sides. And, and this side pocket, put a water bottle here. Any other items that you might want to fit in. On the back. So this opens up. And you can fit your flat items. Laptop, tablet. Put business cards in there. It's a very cool system. We have, They've even come up with a little uh, cue yeah. card to kind of give you an idea of how you can organize this backpack to your ideal, as you mentioned, all the strings, yep. pins. You need Sharpies to sign autographs. You've got a spot for that now. <laughs> so this is going to set you up so that when you get to a gig, everything's in this one unit. When you're done with a gig, you're not just throwing it all into one double Every, bag. Everything has a place. And, and and you can kind of customize it to your own liking. It's very cool. And I think the thing that I'm most excited about, this next one, if you, if you guys follow me at all, you know that I, I think Chris Thiele is a pretty good mandolin player. He's, uh, uh, I guess, he, he's learned a few things from me. I've learned a few things from him. It's kind of a reciprocal thing. But there's a new pick that has come out that is actually the Chris Thiele pick. He signed off on these, and it's using a material called casein. Yep. Why don't you tell us a little bit about these? Yeah, so uh, casein is, is a, uh, it's, it's basically made from a protein, a dairy protein. It's not a thermoplastic like most picks. Um, and. The reason why it's so sought after is because it's the closest known thing to a, the tone of a tortoise shell. And that's why Chris wanted it. Um, a lot of a lot of players, you know, lo love that warm, fat tone that it has. So um, we developed this with him. These are this pick was designed to his specs. Uh, it's got three playing corners. It's uh, it's each one of them is beveled, so you know you, you have a lot of room to, to you know switch the pick and make it last. And uh, we also have it available in uh, standard shape as well. Yeah, teared up, flat pick. Yep. So, just to go, yeah, to, that's, this is a two millimeter and that one's a 1.4, the Chris Thiele. And also to, to, to talk about Chris Thiele's pick, he designed that with us and every time we work with an artist or an inventor, there's a royalty involved and he's donating 100% of his royalties to the Diderio Foundation which That's is super awesome. awesome of him. He's a good guy. Yeah. And for you guys that uh, also follow us, we know we're big fans of the blue chip pick. I'm really excited to try this one out. It comes in about $15 less, uh, yeah. roughly. So it's definitely worth trying out. I'm, I can't wait to hear the tone of it and see if it makes me play like Chris. <laughs> 
probably will. No, absolutely. I, I think absolutely. we're going to guarantee right now, Ontario, <laughs> money back guarantee. If you don't play that, Chris, send it back. And, <laughs> no, that's not true. No, no. You we won't, we won't put if that you put all the practice in the package, in that so. Chris puts in, this pick will make you as good as him. Yeah. But I think that's it for the show. We got a lot of stuff we'll bring back from the Daddario booth alone. And I appreciate you spending the time yeah, with us no and problem. being nice uh, meeting you. Thanks for stopping by. This stuff. We'll see you guys. It, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Acoustic Shop, also our Facebook page. We got about 10 more places we're going to be today. So check us out. We're going to be going live on a lot of those. We'll see you guys next time.